to war and hunt. Now they want to hold you accountable? We in a sassy man apocalypse, y'all. What do y'all want from this? Hold it. You better hold it. You better hold it. You better hold it. What do y'all want? I'm tired of the sassy man era. Can y'all go back to building houses? <laughs> okay, I shouldn't laugh. <laughs> because to somebody, this is serious. I love calling men sassy. Their response be even more sassy. Like, girl, chill. Something about my own kind that I want to address that I am not liking. Now, I love black men. You guys are kings in my eye. But there is some things that I am not liking and I want y'all to fix. Black men seem to be getting very sassy and I'm not liking it. If I'm looking at shade room comments or if I myself am arguing or I'm getting shady comments on my things that I post on social media. It's usually coming from a black man. It's usually coming from a black man. And the shade room comments, blog comments, where it's just like, if a woman is doing something, like anything. What's up, guys? It makes me vibes here. I just want to say, I hope your day is going good. I hope your day has been filled with love and positivity and I genuinely hope it's going your way. Today I wanted to briefly talk to you guys about how I as a masculine man embrace my femininity and what that looks like from day to day and how I think the guys that are listening because I looked at my analytics and 70 around 70 percent of you guys that watch are male. So to my guys out there, I embrace you to do the same. Today in media, we are seeing this or portrayed this image of the top masculine men. And I kind of touched on it on my video about unrealistic uh, male body standards, but we see men like Chris Hemsworth, Denzel Washington, these men, these older age men that are, you can even see, you can even say Michael B. Jordan, although Sometimes he might uh, toy that line, if you will. But we see men who are traditionally more masculine, men that are heart stoppers, pretty much. Really not allowed to show another side of them, their emotions, right? Which is a different topic altogether, but it's, it's a part of the, I guess, femininity. Showing your emotions, actually being vulnerable. Right. And for me specifically, I'll just revert it back to me. My father was very masculine. He was a construction worker, did concrete for 30 odd years. And he taught me a lot of principles, a lot of values that I carry to this day. I was always that guy that felt like if I did open up. Right. Because these emotions, this side of me has always been in me, obviously. Right talk about duality or non-duality but this side has always been in me and like most dudes I felt as though if if you cried if you did these things that women typically do then you were considered gay weak you're ostracized people didn't want to be around you and I kept that ideology anytime I have a guy in my presence I wouldn't open up like I was reserved and I'm still going through that process of burning that karma and being more vulnerable and open to my friends. But there was a period of time, I would say really from middle school to college where I was strictly nonsensical. I was like, no, this like I made jokes and stuff, but I mean, nonsensical in the way that my approach towards masculine masculinity and femininity, anytime I had a problem, right. And I wanted to open up, it would never be to a guy because I, I had an insecurity that, they would think I'm gay or they would not want to be around me or I would be labeled as soft, right? Like so many uh, of my peers back in high school were labeled soft, uh, some of them, because they, you know, they were they, they, they were more in touch with their feminine side. Naturally so, right? And, and middle school and high school, you're more, more uh, attuned to that side. Uh, although, of course, there are guys who are strictly just masculine. Well... Let's fast forward. So 2020, I moved out here. Or 2021, I moved out here to West Texas. Oil City. 
And let me tell you, <laughs> the men out here are hyper masculine. I think there's masculine and I think there's hyper masculine, right? Maybe people like Dwayne Johnson, um, you could even take John Cena, uh, Batista. I don't know why I'm naming wrestlers, but they just come to mind. Hyper masculine, right? These men that they do not to toy that line. Well, for me, when I moved out here, I had a literal fear. Like my fear was that if I did anything to even show any soft type of side that I was going to be just really pushed to the side, not taken seriously. Because I'm in Oil City, most of the men out here, what do you see? Besides the fact that most men out here are uh, Hispanic, cowboy boots, right, boot cut jeans. I'm not just stereotyping. I'm not just like this is actually what I see day to day, like every day. My coworkers, people I see out in the community, grocery stores, movie theaters everywhere. Cowboy hats, you know, traditionally looking masculine men. And for me, I come out here and I'm wearing baggy jeans. I won't say spandex, but I'm wearing I'm wearing pieces of clothing, fashion that's not necessarily aligned with that. Let's fast forward to today. I've definitely opened up my shell. Like I've really dropped that side of a feeling that I have to be masculine in order to be uh, accepted or fit in. I've dropped that role. I think a lot of guys are scared to be vulnerable. A lot of guys are scared to open up, show their emotions. I'm at a point now where I'm like, you know, excuse my language, fuck what anybody got to think because I know who I am. I'm secure in that way, right? My masculine side, I'm secure. My feminine side, I'm secure. God made us or Yahweh or universe, whatever you want to say, made us with the same tear ducts that women have. We cry just alike. So why would it not be acceptable for us to show our emotions and for us to be, why is it, oh, the sun is going down, uh, for us to be emotional, even domestic activities. I love cooking. I'm not that much good of a baker. Uh, some things I've baked and have turned out to be shit, but I love cooking, cleaning, just caring for people, more empathetic. I journal. I like to wear clothes that fit me and are and is com and are comfortable, regardless of, I guess it's deemed uh, for a woman or not. Sometimes I sit with my legs crossed. I've cried in front of a couple of my friends. Again, my nails are painted, and for me, it's not. Most guys might see that and say, "Hold up, okay, we get that you're caring, we get that you're vulnerable, we get that you like to cook and clean and things." Okay, okay, all right, all right, but you're painting your nails, so like now you're crossing the line. Well, I don't, I don't typically, I don't know. I don't see it that way. For me, it's like, I like the aesthetic. I like the look of the nails. Like, it's not a, right, it's not a gay thing, you know? And if it was, like, it's like, who cares? Like, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's insecurity or if it's just we were not taught these things growing up. And not to bring race into this thing. And the black community, I think it's like twice as hard. Think about the traditional black masculine man, right? So like anything outside of that frame, and again, my grandpa, my family, I have a bunch of traditional masculine men, masculine men in my family. So like anything outside of that bubble of what's deemed straight and masculine is really not accepted in the black community. And those of, those of you who are watching who are black would, would probably agree, um, it's, it's a bit tough. Because we're taught to not show our emotions, we're taught not to cry, not to be vulnerable, not to do anything that's going to make you seem less of a man. And people will judge you. That's just the bottom line. They will. They will. They see my nails painted or they see me rocking certain outfits, my fashion, right? They see me wearing my hair a certain way, me talking a certain way, and they might deem me a certain way or say I'm this, I'm that. But at the end of the day, I know who I am and I know what I'm not. It's like for me, I, I can talk basketball because sometimes I watch basketball, but when guys talk about MMA or they talk about, oh man, this dude got traded in football, I'm like, yeah, uh-huh, but I don't really watch it, right? So, but the guys who are watching, I just want to encourage you just shortly just to say, hey man, whatever you like to do 
in a broader sense. But whatever you like to do that's, that might be considered feminine or that's towing that line, I say do it, man, because it truly only matters what you think. Just try it. Like, just try those things, right? You might not get the the response or the judgment or the hate that you think you might receive. I haven't had anybody, well, I've had one coworker say something uh, that was a bit rude, but I mean, other than that, nobody has said anything to my face, uh, but it's not that I really care about it. So I'm just saying for you guys, if it's painting your nails, if it's doing this, if it's, if it's wearing a crop top, they used to wear crop top in the days. Like think about it for a second. I have pictures of my uncle, my uncles, uh, three uncles, very masculine men, played basketball, like uh, film photos of them that my mom took and they have on short shorts and crop tops. Think about Prince. Think about David Bowie. These men that might have seen, right? Oh, yeah, they're definitely feminine. They're wearing heels. They're wearing glitter. Like, yeah, okay, they, they're definitely feminine, but they have women falling out for them. Like, I think about that all the time, and that kind of, like, reassures me, like, no, you might think that these things are feminine and men shouldn't be doing these things, but ask yourself why you think that. Ask yourself... Is this something that, is these, are these opinions that I have? Like, are, did media give me these opinions, right? Did social media give me these opinions or these are my own opinions, right? Just question your beliefs is what I'm saying. And just say fuck it at the end of the day, man. We're about to move into 2024. It's okay to do those things, man. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know what else to say. It's just like the other day I told you I went to the Beyonce movie. Okay, like that could be considered feminine. Like I don't, I listen to a lot of women artists. I love, I have uh, Amy Winehouse uh, on my vinyl wall. I have Amy uh, Winehouse hanging up. I have Lana Del Rey. It's, it's no longer about feminine masculine. Like even when uh, Young Thug wore the dress and Cuddy wore it, people on social media are quick to say it's a, a humiliation ritual or, oh man, they got another black man. I think that's such a stupid idea. Social media, you assume that the, the labels or their managers made them do it. Like what if they genuinely wanted to put on a dress? Kurt Cobain. That's all I want to say. That's enough ranting. My thoughts are a little bit uh, sporadic. So uh, excuse me if it wasn't as structured. And I know I titled this video as a masculine man. And I say that in that context of you see, okay, uh, yeah, I would say I'm a masculine man. But at the end of the day, no, I'm not. Like, I would say, I won't say I'm 50-50, but I've just allowed this side to really shine. And, and it's honestly enriched. It's definitely enriched my relationships. It's enriched my my inner psyche, right? My mental health has been better because of it because I'm no longer looking through the lens of like, oh, that's gay or, oh, that's feminine. Like, oh, no, like, oh, you shouldn't be doing this. Like, I don't care anymore. So I don't view things from that lens. And it's honestly, it's gotten easier for me day to day to be able to do things and not worry so much about what other people are perceiving it as because again other people's opinions have nothing to do with me that's how they think and as long as i'm secure in my manhood i'm secure right i'm secure in what i know what i like fuck what anybody else got to say i'm just being honest so that's the video if you guys got anything out of it drop a like comment on the subject i would love to hear what you think let me know and i'll see you guys in the next video and i hope you have a good rest of your day